Okay, this is a test of the overall automated HLT system. So you can see here's the propane um, with a low pressure regulator going into the uh, Honeywell water heater solenoid that then has a uh, connection back into the controller here. That then just feeds up into the burner, which is a BG14. You can see the uh, pilot down in there, barely. And uh, this is a uh, stand made out of electrical strut. I got the idea from a recent Zymergy magazine. All that, uh, you can see here's the thermometer right here that then feeds into the uh, into the HLT there. So I just have a five gallon test water batch. I'm about to start to see how long it takes to heat up. This is the controller, so uh, master on off. Uh, this is the PID for the HLT. You can see here I have it set to 160. Right now the water temp is 91. Um, this is my tap water temp. Um, uh, this is a for, for a mash thermometer. I'm not using that right now, so that has the error code. This is the, uh, if I want it in PID mode, if I want it off or override, that's what that uh, is. Uh, this connection right here, the HLT solenoid, that's a 24 volt connection into, you can see here it comes over and then connects into the, the Honeywell. Uh, the only other connections off the Honeywell, you can see this is the uh, thermocouple and this is the gas to the uh, pilot. And this is the main gas that's open when the solenoid opens and comes in and I've got a little adjustable controller there. So I can tune the flame up and down. And then these are for the pumps that I, sorry, these are the temperature ends for the uh, it's a RTD, which is a temperature sensor for the HLT. I have a different one for the mash that I'm not using, as I mentioned. And then uh, this is the pump, which just has 120 or 110 volt output to this here. And then same for pump two, which again, I'm not using right now. I do when I, um, when I'm brewing, I recirculate the, uh, the ma uh, HLT water, and uh, I have a Herm setup I'm working on for my mash, which also will recirculate. So that's the setup.